Hi Aquarius, this is just a, um, a quick message for Aquarius. Uh, I was kind of led to do a video for some of the Aquarius out there who are kind of in a place of emotional confusion. Um, some people, some of my Aquarius are waiting for someone to come back or they know that a person is coming back. It brings them a lot of anxiety because this situation wasn't necessarily one that is is or was ideal there's a lot of love there but the dynamics of the relationship uh, may have been that of third party uh, someone being married either the Aquarius or the other person um, but this person is wanting to return so this message is about the return of this energy and what this specific person wants from the Aquarius or you can vice versa you know the Aquarius returning to a particular person all right so what is the message Lord God for Aquarius in regards to someone returning from the past yeah ace of pentacles five of wands ten of swords eight of cups ten of pentacles wow so definitely this is a masculine energy that may be returning to the aquarius um you guys get into the dynamics we know that they're same sex relationships and uh blase blase whatever uh this is more of a masculine energy that may be returning this is someone who um they either are or, or were in a relationship a long-standing relationship with someone else there is heavy conflict drama this person also may be returning to the Aquarius because there is lack of romance where they are in a particular situation. There is the pettiness, the fighting, the competition, the arguing. This also may be a person returning to you because they have been betrayed, backstabbed. Uh, things didn't turn out well for them. the Aquarius is coming up as the Knight of Swords so the Aquarius is a little bit confrontational yeah about this this uh, this return this person may be coming back wanting to merge life wanting to give you a real relationship share resources live together build something solid and stable this person wants to completely change the dynamic between the two of you they're having the strength to come back it looks like someone is taming their ego it could be um, a Gemini person it could be Aries Sagittarius Leo um, it could it could be anybody it could be a very attractive person they're they're attractive to you to you this has also been a person that's been looking in on you in regards to trying to, wow, to reignite whatever you guys have. They feel as if with you, they're on the right path. They may have even gone through their own spiritual journey as you have also, Aquarius. And they feel that in union with you, in emerging life with you, it is where they're supposed to be. It, it fits them. this has been a you know cyclical for the both of you a cycle something had to phase out something had to phase in it's been a cycle of of uh, you in and out of their life or vice versa them having to learn um new ways of operating this person has a foundation that they they already created they may even be coming to you and saying that 
that foundation is is crumbling it, it's dying it's the death of they may be coming to you with the sweet nothings the only thing I'm concerned about here is that there's a lot of idealism but no offer maybe an offer of truth it their truth how they see things how they want things but no real substantial offer of you know um, wanting to give you exactly what you want they have to make a choice here the choice is it uh it's, to, it's typically between two people but they have to make the choice in regards to keep in mind that this has been cyclical it's been a, a cycle in and out off and on hot and cold now the universe the lovers has brung, will bring you two back together you have to make the choice they have to make the choice what will you guys do in this bringing back together Will it be different? Will it be the same? And that is when free will comes into play. The universe can bring you two together, but then you can, you know, decide to go another way. Or you can decide to make whatever happen here. It says that maybe this person is experiencing loss loss of something that they thought was valuable it looks like a relationship some foundation that they they built up for themselves with a particular person or or thing I don't know It says, Aquarius, you, in order to achieve the harmony within yourself, you need to remain balanced. Um, to get through this conflict, remain balanced. Emotionally balanced, mentally balanced. Do not... Do not rock the boat. Don't, don't get off center because you know that this person is trying to return. This could be a person in authority. This is, could be a person that owns their own business. This could be a person that is over a lot of people in business. This could be a person with money. Um, this is a person who has, you know, if they have the idea, they run with it. They see it. They want it. They get it. Uh, they, this is a person after their own their own desires their heart's desire okay so we will do something unique here we're going to kind of expand on this energy over at the website but for right now we're going to see uh, try to get a little specific in regards to the signs or the elements if anything so firstly we'll pull two cards for the Aquarius dealing with another air sign so it's Gemini Libra Aquarius so if you're dealing with another air sign and you feel like this is your story then let's see oh okay justice yeah this person is trying to come in Libra here and right the wrongs they feel as if you know things are out of whack off balance they may even be coming in trying to give apology here they know that they did wrong or did you wrong or just wasn't as mature there can also be a debt repaid to you if someone is owing you you're dealing with an air sign or, or just good advice uh, or repayment repayment of debt it's almost like someone wants to resolve the negative energy with the Aquarius. Air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. The sun, wow. It says that if you continue on this path with this person, that, um, you know, if you continue this relationship, this friendship with this person, it can uh, lead you to a life of happiness and contentment. Um if you choose to continue 
this is the ha one of the happiest cards in the deck so it's very good in regards to those dealing with air signs okay those dealing with earth signs virgo taurus capricorn those dealing with earth signs two cards for my aquarius dealing with earth okay we have four of swords okay so we have a person in contemplation about the particular relationship the roots that they built with the aquarius you guys may have children between the two of you um home used to live together or something about home but there's there's energetic distance or it could be physical distance you guys are not you are not together someone could be thinking about you heavily even dreaming about you trying to get into your energy yeah um five of cups came out this is a person who all they can do is reserve you in their energy in their space in their mental in their feelings because they're already in uh maybe a committed relationship or something long-standing they know that they either um, had you in a third party situation or a situation that was just not feasible for the Aquarius um, but they miss you heavily they're hesitating before making some decision maybe in regards to uh, coming toward you but we'll clarify that over at the website um, with dealing with this person this was a uh, this was a this was a love affair there's a lot of romance there there was a lot of physicality of the relationship a lot of sex a lot of you know um a lot of physical play here there's a lot of drama to dealing in dealing with this person um childlike games played um they even made you feel like you know like a little kid and dealing with them maybe you know some of the things the sweet nothings that they would say they're really thinking about you heavily they miss you um keep in mind just because someone misses you doesn't mean that they you know they have a whole bunch of intention for you they just may miss having access to you okay so those dealing with aries sagittarius leo those dealing with fire signs aries Sagitta Sagittarius Leo King of Cups those dealing with Aries Sagittarius Leo those Aquarius still Princess of Pentacles okay someone is very much if you're dealing with a fire sign Aries Sagittarius someone is very much in love with you but they don't show it they're very good at masking or holding off or um, they know when to show their feelings. They um, they're, they're very they govern and guard their feelings extremely. Um, they can be emotionally manipulative because they're so good at uh, staying emotionally balanced, not wavering too far to the left. Or too far to the right but it looks like this person wants to come in it says um, it could say I'm in love I want to this is a person who wants to either offer a gift apologize reignite start send you messages of wanting to um, be better in union or at least to start something back up you could also be this could also be an ex um and this king of cups likes to keep the exes close if not in full contact but definitely in reach so this person and this person could be very much in love with you also okay those dealing with uh cancer pisces scorpio those aquarius 
dealing with Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Seven of Pentacles. The Death card. All right, so we get the Death under here in our first spread. All right, overall energy for all four elements is the Nine of Wands. We'll get into that in just a second. Okay, so those dealing with uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, there is. The Cancer Pisces Scorpio is, is is evaluating where they are in their life, in their relationship. They could be married or uh, in some type of co contractual agreement, which is most time marriage, or some relationship that restricts them from uh, fully committing to you or and or reaching out to you. But you are um, a real stable um, a real option in their life and they're looking at you for some reason because they have gone through some real transformation they understand that some way of uh, existing in their life or how they've been doing things is dying or is dead uh, there may be a once again a loss of something that they felt was valuable at one point um and now they're looking at where they are honestly this could be some cancer pisces scorpio who is they may have value their freedom so they ended it with you um but now they understand that the freedom it, it wasn't as valuable as they thought and now they're looking back at you uh, this could be a Cancer Pisces Scorpio who is in relationship marriage or contract whatever with whomever and they aren't they're at a place of pruning of evaluating reevaluating where they are in life and saying is this going to get me to the ten of Pentacles so now they're there uh, they may be experiencing a transformation within themselves and they're losing what they thought was it was valuable uh, in another person um, only to be once again looking back at you this also could be a cancer Pisces Scorpio who is just outright ending a marriage ending some commitment ending some something that they built up some something that has a foundation and now they're looking back at you they aren't where they want to be uh, this is also for for all four elements this could be a person who is looking in on you Aquarius the nine of wands this could be the secret admirer this could be what they want to be is the new boyfriend or the new girlfriend um, this is the person who is oh, you guys are separated you are away from each other it may be even a great distance someone is now experiencing a new new uh, way of thinking a new personal philosophy about life and in their life in, in general and they're evaluating what you guys had from afar wanting to return but still is still in the wings still waiting we're gonna see over at the website how this turns out for each element um, we're gonna ask the cards what is the action so we know how each element feels uh, we're gonna ask we're gonna ask the cards what's their next actions will it take any action in regards to coming towards the Aquarius and then we'll ask the cards what should the Aquarius do I think this this energy has the the Aquarius anxious someone is thinking dreaming about wanting to be with the Aquarius heavily but not showing the Aquarius any of this but the Aquarius can feel it so that takes a person to a high level of anxiety knowing that someone wants to communicate with you 
or want to be with you but they're doing nothing in regards to do those things and then you not knowing when this person will communicate with you what they will say but you know that you need to be ready and on guard because maybe in some of these situations it just wasn't the best relationship you you had to learn you had to go through life cycle and so did they I think they're a bit behind you Aquarius in regards to uh, knowing what the connection is and and growing and growing up okay all right Aquarius meet me on the other side this is really good this, I hope that this relieves some 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 anxiety for the Aquarius so you know how your other person feels um, and just be ready to make whatever decision you'll have to make when this person returns okay thank you Aquarius the extended reading is below click the link it's always two dollars and 25 cents to get the extended read you can also get a reading just like this for yourself uh, do know that the hour-long readings are on sale for one day only and that is today 12 midnight it all changes it goes back okay so take advantage of that Aquarius thank you take care uh, stay in prayer bye